Annual? The first annual, annual. dinged up podcast. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, this ain't no tournament. Yeah, this, this, is, <laughs> this is a and podcast. This is a pod- <laughs> the yeah. first like, annual dinged up podcast. Now, we're going to do these every month. I don't know. We're going we're gonna to try to. That's for sure. That's every the month. thing. So we're still trying to figure this whole thing out. Obviously, I got my boys to introduce everybody from right to left. I got my boy Adrian Avina at the end, MDJ, Mark Daniels Jr., DC, Dustin Connell, and obviously me, Jacob Wheeler. So we are here at the St. Lawrence River for stop number five. Number five on the BPT here on the Major League Fishing. Um, and I, hey, you guys could tell, like, it does not look like, it does not look like summertime. No. We, we're all got the hoodies on. No. I mean, what do, you, what do y'all hard, think? Nipping hard, nipping hard. I'm just worried if a small mouth is going to bite me in the back back here <laughs> from this <laughs> St. Lawrence River because I don't got a feeling they're going to be snapping this week. <laughs> I, I got a feeling you might be right. Now, listen, so D.C. is one of your main main slogans is they ain't going to catch themselves. They might here. <laughs> <laughs> they, these these jokers might just catch themselves. They They're going to jump in the boat. <laughs> That's pretty dang on good. That's yeah, you know, you know, you know, you had a good place when you can even begin to say something like that. That is fact. So we are here at San Juan for us all to agree. Oh straight yeah, straight up. No, I mean, no. it's gonna be, it's gonna be pretty nice. It's gonna be fun, dude. Man. I got, I got a vibe. It's gonna be pretty solid. And so. Sort of going back, before we get into the St. Lawrence River and what our thoughts and predictions are on this body of water, we're going to dive into a little bit of the Chickamauga event. We just left Chickamauga. I stopped number four. Um, mm. Offshore event, every one of us did a little bit something dun, different. Dun, 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 Prize, can man. We, can we <laughs> hey, oh my gosh. Um, so this is the thing. Real quick here, obviously, uh, Chickamauga was, was a good event for your boys. It was my home turf but at the same point in time it felt good to sleep in my bed but you guys you know we all finished a little bit differently we all fished a little bit differently um starting with adrian you know you found a lot of good places offshore tournament for the most i mean i was after the tournament i, I talked to adrian a little bit about this and you found a ton of good places you know and just in a lot of times in an offshore event it's it's all about rotation yeah tell me a little sure. about that yeah, I mean, the biggest thing is, dude, it's uh, even though we're in a small field size, mm-hmm. it's still tough to get on some places, man, because we all find the same stuff. And it still blows my mind to see Kevin, what he did. It's you know, one of the biggest community holes, the whole river. Absolutely. Yep. And um, it just, it was just one of them deals. You know, I, just made, I didn't make the right decisions. You know, I, I didn't get to actually fish some of the better places I found. And, you know, unfortunately, it just didn't happen, you know. But, I mean, it, it is it is nice knowing that, you, you know, you found some really good places, but it just sucks when you don't catch them. So, no doubt. Um, That's but, bass fishing. I mean, yeah, I'll tell you did. what. I mean, on, on a little bit on Kevin. Kevin Van Dam won stop number four um, and, and killed it, obviously. And I, and I made a comment saying that Kevin Van Dam is the only human being in the world I that I won. truly feel like could have won the tournament off of the place he won it on. I agree. Only person in the world. This is Them bats. fish had seen a million baits. Everything. Zillion. Everything. Yep. Everything. And if you're a local of Chickamauga or you're spending time on the body of water, you know that you probably know it from the backgrounds, and, and that's what's so crazy about that. Um, you know, and, and Mark, obviously, um, just missing the cut as well, but you had some good opportunities, and you were sort of on a little bit different program. A little bit of grass, a little bit of offshore, mixing it up. Yeah, you know, we, we came a little bit earlier than we usually have, and so I wasn't sure that those schools would be out there in the big numbers like we seen last mm-hmm. year when you won in the Super Tournament. Um, but yet and still, I knew it would be one out there. And see, it's always that little bug in the back of your mind where you're like, mm-hmm. If you don't get out there and find those those schools of fish, those bigger groups of fish, you don't even have an opportunity of winning. So I spent quite a bit of time out graphing, and I, and I located a lot of the same places as we all have. And this, like, like Adrian said, the same guys, we find it over and over again. And the opportunity that you'll have to fish these places is very small. So what I did was I kind of did a little bit of offshore deal, but then I went in a little bit tighter and fished that mid-range, that 6 to 10, where there was a lot of hydrilla. And um, I thought that would be a good backup plan, but I was just kind of a day late, dollar short on that. And then just ended up being a tough event, man. It's just part of the game. Mm-hmm. You know, you take it off the chain, you move to the next one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but you had, you had a solid fish. You had a, this is the thing. I'll tell you what. For all, for all the people out there watching, and I think you guys would all agree with this, the hardest fish to find in, in, in any body of water summertime are those fish in that 6 to 10 foot zone. The, okay. Those fish that you cannot graph, mm-hmm. that you have mm-hmm. to fish to find, 
those fish are the hardest fish to find in a, in a body of water, typically unless you could see them where the water is super clear or something like that. But on Chickamauga, that is definitely the sneakiest zone of the lake. So, now going on to D.C., Mr. obviously. Mr. Seven Pounder. Man. Hey, seven Mr. Pounder. Oh, Mr. I seven. reeled in a couple bigs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't lying. I, I will have to say this. Uh, lake Chickamauga is an unbelievable lake. Um, you know, I, I went into that tournament and just, you know, Fully committing to fishing out deep. That's what I love doing. I love getting out there and uh, trying to channel my inner J Dub. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, so I did let that week. So I pulled up to a lot of places. I idled my whole practice, and I found probably about 15 different places. I knew there was going to be boats on a lot of them, mm-hmm. and I pulled up. I caught all of my bass in like three places, literally on the whole plate, because you couldn't get on anything else. Because mm-hmm. Adrian was in the same situation. I mean, I'm sure he had all the places I did. There, <clears throat> Andy Morgan told you this. There's only so many places the good Lord has made for these fish to just get grouped up. <laughs> That's just it, big dog. That's, That's it. Right. He did not That's create good. more shell beds. He didn't create more ledges, no creek, more mouths, or blah, whatever you want to call it. Mm-hmm. There's only so many places, and these fish are going to migrate. They're going to go out deep. They're going. These are their stopping points. This is what you got. Yeah. And uh, so, anyway, I finished that tournament in 14th. I caught him on a hair jig. It was a fun tournament. I weighed in three seven-pounders. And we're leading heavy hitters. Gosh, Gosh dang, Sizzle. Ooh, Look gosh. at you, son, just leading yes, it. Sir, having a good, me, having me, a good, me, good me year. I think we all having see? a good, solid let me, let me, year. Let me get it's some been good. So you might rub off on your boy. That <laughs> is yeah, insane. Yeah, that, and that is important. So, heavy hitters, for all you guys who don't know what heavy hitters is, so basically, in the Major League Fishing year, we have seven events, and your biggest fish from every single event, a Cumulative throughout the seven. Um, the top, was it 25? Top 30. Top 30. Top 30 guys in our, out of the 80 anglers will qualify for heavy hitters. Now, this year, I uh, I was fortunate in the knockout round to win $50,000 for the big fish. It pays $50,000 in the knockout round, $25,000 in the qualifying round, and $100,000 in the championship round, plus $100,000 for the, the, the whole deal. So, Lots of money up for grabs, so that's why Honey Heavy Hitters is a big part of what we're always trying to get after. Now, in the meantime, in the meantime, while we were all sort of hanging out, hanging out with our families, I know Sizzle was sort of hung out with the pond team. Mark, I'm sure you've been working hard. Um, our, our, our boy, Adrian Avina, uh, a top 10. Top 10 on the yeah, pro man. circuit. Yeah, yeah. Hey. Talk to me about it one time. Hey, time out. Time out, time out, time out, time out. Also, my man is getting married like in uh, just a few more months. You got to get that cheese so she can spend it. You got a good taste of that. I already know. (laughs) And if you're married out there, you know too. Happy wife, happy life. I always thought that was a theory. But it is debunked because it is true. It's facts. <laughs> facts. Anyway, good job, big dog. Yeah, Congrats. Man, yeah, yeah, man. Potomac, for sure. Potomac's a cool place. You know, we've all been there. There's a lot of history in the Potomac. It's one of them tournaments where me being from New Jersey, I don't have many tournaments that I can fish that are within three, four hours from my mm-hmm. house. So that's one. And and um, kind of like Jacob, you know, I mean, I got a lot, of, a lot of experience, a lot of hours on that place. And it, it's almost like you get a weird feeling whenever you fish a body of water that you know and you go up running up and down that river and you're like, man, you know, I caught one here, caught one there. And, and that's really all I did. You know, I, I had a really short practice, only practiced for about a day and um, really just ran a bunch of history and it was fun. You know, I ended up finishing fifth in that tournament. You know, really, honestly, good for the sport. Yeah. That who won, who won. Yeah, Absolutely. no doubt. You know, I don't know if you guys followed, but I don't even know how to pronounce it. I don't even know how to pronounce the guy's name. It's Jacopo. Is he Jacopo? So, young guy from from Italy. He was lit. lit. Drops 20 pounds. Final day. day. $100,000. That is unbelievable. Think about this. Okay, pro circuit, $100,000. I guess he left his family there. He can't go back because of the COVID situation until the fall, probably. I mean, wins the tournament, catches 20 pounds, which is the biggest bag of the tournament by far. By far. Yeah. Um, and One of them deals, literally, caught 19, caught him out of, all right, I'm going to drop some tea on you guys, Potomac River. He caught him out of Potomac Creek, literally five minutes ago. This is when you know it's meant to be. Mm-hmm. Drops his trolling motor down right in front of the boat ramp, casts his deal out there, last cast, catches another four-pounder, calls from 19 to 20. 
Oh my! Things God. like that happen, dude. Whenever you win tournaments, hundred percent. Literally to watch mm. him go up on that stage and sacrifice. You know, there's a lot of internationals that are now competing with us, and yeah. it's it's cool when mm. everyone wins because I mean, dude, they're literally out of their element. This guy here, he made a comment on stage, five thousand miles away from the Potomac Jeez. River, he came. Jeez. Insane, wow. dude. That Makes you feel insane. like a chump, dude, when you get beat by. <laughs> <you know? I laughs> no, it's, just, it's just it's just meant for my man, yeah. man. I mean. I, I enjoyed watching. Of course, I, I ended up coming up on a final day to win. Came and seen Adrian and uh, everybody else in the top ten, and obviously watched Jacopo win. But the again, the commitment, the energy, and the passion that you can just hear in this dude's voice um, by watching him fish. If you watch live, and then of course listening to him on stage after he won. I mean, man, I I know that feeling um, to a certain degree crossing the country. But I can only imagine coming from a whole nother country. Insane. You know, it's crazy. Yeah. It really is. I mean, that's something that's like, I mean, you look at the greats. I feel like, you know, I feel like Takahira was, was probably the OG. I mean, you know, yeah. like, I, I knew I knew they were here. <laughs> hey, hey, we got to go. We got to go. Like, that is probably the, the – I've probably watched yeah. that video a hundred times. Because no the passion, the thing is, is you look at it and like, and we take things for granted. I mean, we were very fortunate and blessed to be able to be, be out here competing at this level, at the highest level of the sport. Didn't come easy. It did not. No, and, and we all worked our butt off to get here. Don't man, I tell you what, this is the thing. I feel like everyone on this table is hard <laughs> workers. These guys work their butt off, and you know we all didn't come from a heck of a lot. So I think the thing is, is the the fact is, is we appreciate it a lot when we get to this point. But I mean, you look at those guys, and in, in, in the, in the look where we come from, look at those guys like like Carl. Look at Talk. Um, look at all the Japanese anglers yeah. that yeah. are coming from across the you know across all around the world, chasing yeah. a dream, chasing a dream to be in the position and the opportunity that we are right now. Mm -hmm. I mean that is insane. Yeah, I mean to really think about that, you know. So, dude, I can't tell you how many times I slip out of my dang truck, dude. God, dude, I remember. Okay, all right, dude, tell me. I, I know, Adrian. I'll tell you what, Adrian is hey, hard do. work. He does. Adrian's a camper. Yeah, because he he's so dang cheap. <laughs> oh, he asked me how much this hotel was <laughs> this week. He did. He asked me how. I'm holding this like I'm rapping or something. Look, he asked me, um, literally this like two days ago, yesterday, today, today. 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 He said. How much is this hotel this week? I said, Well, I, dude, the only one I could find was two thirty. And he was like, "You got quiet." Oh, I got quiet. Crickets. Hey, and he was like, "Hold on a second. Hold on. Let me jump in here, right?" So, really, two thirty. No, but so check this out, right? So I check in, you know, and I give my I give my guy the card or whatever. He asked me for my ID. I give it to him, and he runs it. And I'm like, "Hey, dude, what's the damage?" And he says, "One zero one two. I'm like. Thousand oh. bucks, bro. Hold up. And I'm like, hold on a second. How many nights is that? He says nine. I'm like, I already think in my head, all right, if I don't make the championship round, <laughs> right. I hate to make the knockout round. <laughs> right. I'm going to get some money back. I'm like, hey, dude, can yeah. I check out early? Hey, talk. Uh, 80 bucks a night, a little bit better than 230. Yeah. But low key, oh, yeah. I pay $80 yeah. to fish this. Oh, yeah. Uh, I promise you, I'll do Absolutely. that. Absolutely. It's working. All right, boys, this is the deal. We are going to jump into the St. Lawrence River right after this break. We appreciate you guys. Hold on one second. We're going to jump in to what our predictions are, Ooh. what the bets are, and Ooh. what we think is going to happen out here Throwing on out the this pond bets. right here. Always money. Always. Always. Adrian Pigs. 98, right? 98, 98 pounds. pounds. We're all I'm three. Gonna, I'm going to run with it. All three are under. 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 300 bucks up for grabs. Now, this is the thing. This is the way we work out this deal. So, if Group A... Group A fishes Friday and Sunday. Group B fishes Saturday and Monday. This is the thing. You can split it, too. So he can actually, you know, tie if one goes over, one goes under, and so on and so forth. If you yeah. watch the channel at all, you sort of know a little bit about that, a little better bets. The one thing that we have to talk about is Little Marshall. Little Marshall Lil is... Mar let me, oh, hold on. This guy. Lil Marshall. Let me oh. tell you all about Lil Marshall. Hey, Lil Marshall. I had to kick him out of my boat today. God. I opened up the I opened up the the, the rod lock. He was in there sleep. I said, "Wake up!" See, I I got to do it. Sleep. He was sleep. Hey, get up off my boat, bro. Hey, I Marshall. had him at Chickamauga. I'm sure y'all seen that too, probably on J Dub's channel or mine's. But but Marshall ain't bringing me none of that good that good juju that he brought y'all, man. I don't, I don't know. know about y'all, but uh, I know he dropped 300 bands <laughs> on y'all. Hey, look, and he got heavy hitters bass with him. He wasn't fooling me, man. Did you take? Hey, I took him second when I, championship I, day. Did I take him when I owned fifty thousand dollars and named Big Bass? Duh. Yeah. Did you have him that Did day? you take him in second place, uh, Chick? I did not. I would probably would have won. 
probably. Well, Mark, oh. Mark had him. I had him, but I oh, was you, out. You're supposed to I know I should have took him. And that was the, really the, the bottom. That man. Yeah. Dang, that's what did it, right? Kevin there. would not have won if, if I had a little Marshall. Marshall, Marshall. But I guarantee I think it would have been a little different if he had about 10 more minutes. Too. <laughs> <laughs> a little Marshall plus 10. Nail buyer. It's unbelievable. So, this is the thing. So, this week, let's. Uh, all right, how about this? All right. So, we, you all have, we all have, we all have scales in our boats, right? Or no? Adrian, you don't have one? I got one. No, I don't got no scales. Okay, I got to get you one. You have one in your boat? I got yes. one. All right. Biggest bass from practice takes little Marshall day number one. Mm. Oh, that's a little incentive. Mm. I mean, no, but now that's the thing. No, no, biggest bass from practice from now. That's the thing. I, Adrian and I are fishing group A. Mark right. and DC are fishing group B. All right. So it's it's between us two. So, we're so if both. I find an obvious six, it's going down. <laughs> Zzz. Yeah. Zzz. <laughs> That's how it is. Okay, so we got a pretty good vibe of what might go down. I don't know what's going to happen you, here, man. but we've had a lot of fun with this podcast. we got to tie a few more crickets on and get some sleep. It's going to be a long day tomorrow, so check back with us. Boys, I appreciate you guys hopping on. Always. we got some work to do. Hey, I'm going to leave you all with this. Let me hear it. Bzz. It's this not week, it's, it's not going bzz. down it's not, St. Lawrence River. It's not bzz. It's it's bzz. Bzz. What is it? It's oh, with a Z? It's bzz. with a Z. Bzz. How is it bzz? Bzz. Like a B? It's not. Either way, it's going to be a whole lot of that. No, 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 it goes, no, it goes. no it's going to be like this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I live. laughs> short story before we let y'all go. Y'all know y'all have stuff. You, you've had this happen. If you hook a catfish, an eight pound or whatever striper. it is. Striper. Striper. Ooh. And you set the hook and you think you're like a, a big dog. Like, I'm going to whop. All right, so you set the hook, and sometimes, tight. every now and then, you get a hold of something you don't want to, and when you set the hook, and he just straight, <laughs> just straight, straight pulls you. It ain't nothing you can do. And then it goes, pow, like some Chris Lane stuff. <laughs> I hope that don't happen this week. Oh, God. Yeah. There's a chance it could happen. Yeah. Boys, I appreciate you all. I will drop the descri- or in the description below, I will drop a link to all their channels and all their social. Appreciate you guys ha- jumping on. We got some work to do. We are out. See you. Thanks.